Problem number 23 of section 2.10 asks us to consider the implicitly defined function square root of xy equals x plus y over 2, which is the set of points for which the geometric mean on the left-hand side is equal to the arithmetic mean on the right-hand side. Now, the first part is just to calculate the derivative of y with respect to x using implicit differentiation. Now, if we go ahead and to do this, we see that taking the derivative of the left-hand side with respect to x will give us 1 half times xy, lowering it a power, well, lowering the power by 1 will uh, make the exponent negative 1 half. Now, we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So, we have x times the derivative of y with respect to x. And then we have y times the derivative of x with respect to x, which is just 1. Now, for the right-hand side, we see that uh, we have 1 half uh, is the derivative of the first term. If we split this into x over 2 plus y over 2, uh, the derivative of the first term is just 1 half plus one half dy dx. Now go, we can go ahead and solve for dy dx here. So we move everything, every term with the dy dx to the left hand side, which leaves us with one half or one over uh, two times the square root of xy times x dy dx. And we have minus 1 half dy dx. And then on the right hand side, we're going to put everything that doesn't have, every term that doesn't have a dy dx term in it, or dy dx in it. So on the right hand side, we'll have 1 half or 1 over the square root of xy times y. And we'll move it over to the left hand, or to the right hand side so the sign will become negative. So we'll have minus y over 2 times square root of xy. And we'll leave the 1 half there. Right, so if we simplify this a little bit, we see that each term has uh, a 2 in the denominator. So we can multiply by 2 all the way across. Now we can factor out the dy dx on the left hand side, which leaves us with x over square root of xy uh, minus 1. And this will be equal to y, negative y over square root of xy plus 1. And now if we go ahead and solve this, we see that dy dx is equal to negative y over the square root of xy plus 1 times the, er, excuse me, over the quantity uh, x over square root of xy. minus 1. Now if we go ahead and simplify this a little bit, let's, uh, write both the numerator and the denominator as just a simple fraction. So minus y minus square root of xy, or excuse me, plus square root of xy, all over the common denominator of square root of xy. That was right the first time. That should be a minus sign there, since the minus sign distributes. Over x minus the square root of xy over the square root of xy. Now, I'm going to go back and erase this first part here. So now we see that if we simplify this, we 
get the formula dy dx is equal to negative y minus the square root of xy over x minus the square root of xy. Now, part B asks us to take a little bit different approach to this problem. Now, most, uh, most functions that we see defined implicitly like this, uh, it's usually difficult, if not just impossible, to solve for y as a function of x. But in this case, we say if we square both sides, we might actually have a shot at doing that. So let's try and see, let's try and solve this for, or solve this equation uh, for y in terms of x. So if we square both sides, we have xy is equal to x plus y quantity squared over 2, which is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared over 2. And now we can simplify this a little bit. So we have xy is equal to 1 half x squared plus xy. Oh, and the we're squaring both the numerator and the denominator, so this should be 4 in each of, these, each of the denominators here, which means that the coefficient for the second term here after simplifying should be 1 half uh, xy plus y squared over 4. Now if we move everything to everything containing y to the right hand side of the equation, actually let's just move everything to the right hand side and consider this as a quadratic in y. Then we end up with y squared over 4. Uh, and here we have plus 1 half xy, then we're going to be subtracting xy, so minus 1 half xy plus uh, 1 quarter x squared, which leaves us with 0 on the other side of our equal sign. Now, each term has, or we can multiply by 2 across uh, each term, which will give us 1 half y squared minus xy uh, plus 1 half x squared uh, is equal to 0. All right, now we have this quad have quadratic in y. We can use the quadratic formula to solve this for y. So using the quadratic formula, we have y is equal to, now our b in this case is minus x. So we have negative b which will be x plus or minus the square root of b squared, which will be x squared, negative 4 now times a, which is 1 half. And our c is 1 half x squared. And in our denominator, we multiply by 2a, which is 2 times 1 half. Now, if we simplify this a little bit, we get x plus or minus. Now, here we have x squared minus 4 times 1 half times 1 half uh, times x squared is just going to be x squared. So we have plus or minus square root of, well, x squared minus x squared, and that whole term just goes to 0. And in the denominator, we have 2 times 1 half, which is just 1. So after all this work, we see that y is equal to x. I'll write it down here, make it a little bit clearer. So 
we say that y is equal to x. In other words, this uh, equation is only satisfied if y is equal to x. So it doesn't sound like too much of a problem now until we look back at the formula that we came up with using the first method. Uh, so using implicit differentiation, we found that dy dx is equal to negative y minus square root of xy over x minus square root of xy. And we see that if we try to plug into this formula here, well, for any point, for, this is only valid for points for which the geometric mean is equal to the arithmetic mean. But we just showed in part b that that happens only when y is equal to x. So when y is equal to x in the denominator, we have x minus square root of x squared, or just 0. So we see that this formula actually isn't valid for calculating the derivative of the points, uh, derivative restricted to the points that satisfy this equality here.